Hi everyone, this is Robert from the 4G Antenna Shop. Today I have opened Huawei B890-66 modem being used on T-Mobile. I wanted to go over a couple things with you on the modem, kind of show you the inside of what we're working with so you guys get an idea of what we have here. So the B890 is compatible with the AT&T and T-Mobile network. Here, right here, these are the LAN, the LAN ports. There's three LAN ports. And then there's a WAN port as well. That's USB sharing right here. This is your phone jack. So if you have a T-Mobile SIM card that has phone capability, you can go ahead and plug it in there and use the phone. When you do switch from phone to LTE, it will go to the 4G network, the HEPSA Plus network, and then go back to the LTE network afterwards. This is your power cord, okay? And then here's your two antenna ports. I have two SMA antennas in here. I'll take them out for you real quick so you can kind of see what they look like. All right, so that's SMA. This is SMA1 that's closer to the case. SMA2 is further. Remember, SMA1 has to be in in order for SMA2 to work. Um, looking at the internal board, I want to show you guys something. This board looking left to right. This here, over on this side, is the Wi-Fi antennas. There's one set, there's two set down here, and then there's a third set down here. This is Wi-Fi N compatible, okay? Wi-Fi N at 300 megabits. Here, I've removed, I've removed the um, LTE antennas that come with it, or the, the 4G GSM antennas that are on here. So there's one antenna up here, and then the second antenna is down here. I actually modified this modem to put my own connectors on it, but I took them off so I could show you the board. All right, and then I have an SMA antenna in here right now, and we're gonna to go to the front of the modem. So, a lot of people are confused about the signal with the Huawei modem. This down here are all the signal lights for the Huawei modem. So, if it was lit up completely, you would have full signal. Now, how can you tell that on the Huawei modem, it's pretty difficult, I know. If you look at the bottom of the case here, that blue light that's on the bottom, if you had full signal, would be completely lit. So that's one way to tell. Again, that's the Huawei, I got four lights now for the signal as I play with the antenna here. It goes up and down, okay? These three lights just mean the unit's on. These lights are all your signal lights here. Okay, this light blue light here is for LTE. If it was dark blue, it would be 4G HEPSA Plus or 3G. Okay, and then I'm going to put this modem back in its case real quick so you can kind of get a feel for the lights that are associated with this modem. Oh, also the SIM card, real quick, I'm sorry, SIM card goes on top. It uses a full-size SIM card uh, that you can get from T-Mobile. All right, now let's turn it around here. The lights in the front, this is your power light here. This is your SIM card active light. Remember, red flashing means SIM card is dead or IMEI is blocked from T-Mobile. Dark blue means 4G. Light blue or green means LTE. This is your Wi-Fi indicator. This is your world indicator, which just means that you are connected to the internet. Your LAN indicators and USB and stuff like that here. So one, two, three, your world light, USB light. And again, this is your world light shows that you're connected. Okay, so that's that modem on the LTE network. And if you look on the bottom here now, you'll see how the signal light goes up and down. Okay, the more it's over here, the more signal it has. Okay, now going into the modem here, first couple of things we wanna do is go ahead and check the speed on here. That was my last speed test with decent signal. Now remember the signal is a little bit down, so we'll do a quick speed test here, and then we'll talk about the signal. All right, so with me having poor signal, I'm getting speeds of about 25 down, and we'll see what the upload looks like. The latency is great at 28. My tower is about 
little less than a mile away. And the upload is actually out beating the download and that could be just because of the poor signal here. I usually get about, if my signal is good, I usually get about speeds of about 40 down and about 27 up. Okay, so that's kind of the average T-Mobile speeds for my particular area. Every area is different. Now let's log into the modem. Okay, the default password of the modem is always going to be admin. Okay, and that will take us right here to the main screen. To go ahead and see signal, you just take your mouse and put it over the signal bars and it will kind of tell you what the signal is. Um, as you play with it, or as you play with the antenna or adjust your antenna, just hit the refresh key to kind of see what the new signal is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the modem upwards here and set it upwards instead of setting it downwards now on its backside. I'm going to throw this other antenna in here as well to try to get some more signal here. See what happens. All right. Remember, it uses SMA adapter connectors to so make sure you use SMA. And looks like we got almost all the bars of signal. We're just maybe missing one. Oh, and then there we go. So let's see what our signal looks like now. And our single number looks like now. And it's down to 84, actually 79. So kind of a little bit of fluctuation. The second antenna is equally as important as the first, as you can see. So definitely putting two antennas on here is recommended. Let's see what it looks like now with two antennas and good, better signal. Now my area is a little congested during the day, so but there you go already. You can kind of see the difference by improving the signal, you're also getting better speeds. Now if I have my external antenna connected, I probably would see better speeds than this. So that's kind of a, an idea of what the T-Mobile network looks like on the LTE. And I'm on, band, I'm on the AWS band, so that means I'm on the 1700 megahertz frequency. So kind of an upload and download speed that you can see here. And again, my signal's holding at 79 with two antennas. You can also see signal by going to settings and then going to system and system and network information. And you see here, I have a 79 RSRP, which is a great signal. And I'm on band four. So you can kind of get an idea of what's going on here. All right, I zoomed it up a little bit for you guys. Okay, the other features in here, very, impor very important, your WAN profile. So don't forget your T-Mobile wireless profile. It's important that it is always to be, for LTE, it's APN, and it's gonna be fast.t-mobile.com. You can add profiles to your Huawei modem by clicking on new profile and then add whatever profile you want. Remember, all you got to do is put the name of the profile, click on static, type in fast.tmobile.com and hit save. You don't need anything else down here. Okay. When you first open your modem and you turn it on, it's going to take you to your quick setup menu. Make sure you cancel out of that and make sure you add your wireless profile first. Then you come back to quick setup and you kind of just go through the steps of whatever you want to set up on. Antenna, using an external antenna, you come to the advanced menu, come to antenna, and you can switch from inner to outer. Right now I have mine set to outer. If I switch to inner, I don't have no internal antennas because I took them out, so my signal should drop. Let's see what happens. And there it goes, it did drop. You can refresh for a faster response or you can just wait to the modem to respond. It responds every three to five seconds. So let's see, I switch back to outer now, and there goes my signal back up to 78. So definitely signal is going to make a difference. Um, what else can I show you? There's all kinds of settings for your wireless LAN and also for your regular LAN network as well. Your security. If you know how to mess with any of these, there you go. There's a whole bunch of different <laughs> codes and stuff in here, device information. Just shows you the basic information of your modem, advanced, 
And if you come to SMS, you, if you have text messages enabled, you can send text messages from here. The connection. And it will also tell you your status of your LAN status. Kind of give you what your network you're on, gateway, your IP address, etc. And this is a presentation of the Huawei modem B890-66 on the T-Mobile network. You want more information? Help at 4GAntennaShop.com. We give you all the information about the B890-66 on the T-Mobile network. Thank you very much.